Well, John Zess clocked about 1,000 miles on his bike each month and was a strong supporter of bike safety. But even though he was following every rule in the book, police say the driver that hit him wasn't. He was such a, a kind-hearted, uh, dedicated person that just loved the sport. Bicycle World owner Henry Roberts sold John Zess his first bike. He was not a poser. We call a poser someone who looks the part but doesn't do it. He did it. He was battling AIDS, an illness that led him to his love for cycling and kept a positive outlook on life. The, uh, the deceased was wearing reflective bicycle clothing. The bicycle was equipped with the strobe lights and uh, the white lights as required by law. Harlingen police say that fatal morning Zess was in line with the law. Despite his safety measures, police say Armando Rodriguez hit him with his SUV, then left him dying on the roadway. Five hours later, he turned himself in. This is a very important part of our society now, being a cyclist or a runner. And we need to um, do something with ordinance because it's got to have teeth for people to really understand it. The city of Harlingen passed an ordinance in 2012 that requires drivers to stay a safe distance from vulnerable road users. Violating that ordinance can get you a $200 fine. But Robert says what is needed is more police enforcement of this ordinance and traffic laws. And they need to say, okay, this month we're going to look for that and we're going to give tickets. He believes cracking down on drivers who veer into bike lanes and who use the lanes to pass other vehicles will send a message. Because one death of a cyclist due to a driver's negligence on the road is one too many. About 50 cyclists and 400 pedestrians are killed on the roadways here in the state of Texas every year. Police say in this accident they do not believe alcohol played a factor. In the studio, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.